we came to Lost in Electronics today. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through some more popular plugins for uh, Firefox uh, so that we can uh, order start with uh, security and on how to block uh, some ads. Um, the first one we're going to be uh, working with today um, is going to be some called uBlock Origins. I already have it installed, but how you install this is that you're going to go ahead and go and man it. We're going to go ahead and go to manage your plugins. It'll search for add ons. So we type in uBlock Origin. It will go here and you'll see recommended right there uBlock Origin. That this app, this is a great uh, app right here. What this does is here. So if we'll let's go ahead and use an example of site. We'll go ahead and bring it up. Let's go ahead and go to uh, one of the one of our favorite sites here, YouTube. We're just gonna randomly select this is a random video here. Let's just go ahead and let's pick up this one for level one there. And we can go right here. It says it has we have powered on, so it blocks this ad right here, so that can't be seen. So we just go click it's on. It's a new step. month, and everything's changing. So. So if you have sites that have a lot of the annoying pop-ups you see all the time and you want to make sure they don't have a pop-up here, uBlock Origin does a really good job of blocking those ads there. You can go and it has a lot more information. It tells you how many ads it blocks and it does have a lot of it there. The other thing you also want to make sure you have for security is make sure when you go to a, we want to make sure everything's secure, which we want to make sure that we use what they call HTTPS Anywhere. Uh, what that is is a tool that makes it so when you go to a site, you'll see on the top right here where you have the certificate, it requires a site to always have a, it will always force it to use the H, uh, the HTTPS or port 443 to make sure that you can use the secure uh, connection there. So that makes it a lot better for security. The other thing we're also going to, uh, that one of the other ones that's is really nice to have on your machine is what they call script blocking. No scripts. What that allows you to do is, so if you go to a site that you want to make sure you don't have tracking information, like this right here, that like the GStack information or the Google Linux or DoubleClick.net, it makes it so they don't load because of the fact they can't load the script. So if you go to any kind of website, I'll just use a quick example, Spectrum.com. Right here it comes into and says, hey, we they let us know that when you go to Spectrum, it tells us everything here. If I haven't already uh, told it to can trust it, it would have already uh, not loaded up some portion, but you would always come up and it's going to ask you here. So that way you know you have less tracking information they can be able to use. The other one of the things that's always nice is what, what they call uh, what is because is considered a user agent. What that does is basically tricks your browser in thinking that you're using a different system. So that way, if you go to a site that only may be particular using, like for example, maybe you go to a site that only allows a Windows-based machine to get to it. You can trick the browser in thinking you're using a Windows 10 machine here. So you can go here if we want to test that. It's called the user agent, and it tells us what we're using. In this case. It's telling that I am using uh, Windows, Microsoft Windows, uh, uh, basically Mozilla uh, Firefox, and I'm on a Windows NT. Uh, Windows NT is what it says I'm currently using. So that way I can go to sites like we can get on on, uh, on Linux. We can go to something like watch.spectrum.net and watch some live TV here, or make it so we can actually watch some Rebuild live TV their trust. here, or Go to on-demand content, and we can watch our on-demand content with it. So those are one of the main uh, plugins that we're going to kind of go today on just on how to make sure you optimize your browsers, make sure it's secure, and also allows you to have some more usability through the uh, through some uh, default browser options.